Hey, it's Tuesday and it's 5.07. That means it's time to check in with the city manager in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, Michael Spurgeon. He joins us live. Good evening, Michael. Skyler, how you doing, my friend? Hope your week has started off well. Yeah, doing really well. It's uh, been an exciting uh, couple of days just for me to be back out. I was a little sick last week, so to be in the office and uh, around people is good again. So, but, you know, it's that time of year. People go down. It's happening. It does. I hope you're feeling better. Uh, one thing that's exciting to me, I love rooster days in Broken Arrow. I, I go way back with rooster days to when I was probably, I don't know, five, six at my first one. And uh, there was a big announcement out there in BA today about rooster days. The biggest headline for me is that it's moving again uh, back to May. So really returning to its roots, basically. Isn't that what you would say? That's correct. There was a press conference today that was... Uh sponsored by the Broken Arrow Chamber of Commerce to announce the 92nd, that's right, 92nd annual festival. And last year there was some challenges with the uh, the carnival vendors, so we had to move it to June. So it is going back into the month of May, uh, May 18th through the 21st specifically, which is a Thursday through Sunday, and we couldn't be happier to have it back in May. And the fact that we're announcing it, and it's we're, from what I understand from talking to Jennifer Conway, the president and CEO, it's, it's going to be a tremendous lineup, a lot of fun for families. There's going to be few, food, music, uh, live music, a vendor marketplace. It's just going to be an amazing event that our community has always supported for nine de- ne- decades now. It is something the people of Broken Arrow love. What does it do for the city, is there a big uh, boost in you know sales tax that weekend, or is there some economic boost that you see from it? Uh, absolutely. First off, there will we know there will probably be well over thirty thousand people that that attend the event over the four days, which means those folks are going to be coming into our community, and uh, there's a possibility that they'll support local businesses either before or after they 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 come to the event. And it also brings notoriety to our community. It gives those folks that may not have been to Broken Air an opportunity to to come and see the great businesses and just uh, and just appreciate just how wonderful Broken Air it is. It's, we're supported by the police and fire and the city. Uh, so it's just a great event. It gives us a chance to showcase our city as well as our businesses. We're talking with Michael Spurgeon, the city manager in Broken Arrow for the BA Breakdown. If you have any questions about Broken Arrow, if you live out there, you have a you know, questions about what the city is doing or maybe a road you want worked on or something. We tend to talk about that a lot. Hit the open mic on the KRMG app and ask Michael a question. One thing I wanted to ask you about while we're talking businesses is I, I did see something about a new company coming to town, right? They're going to be in the old Baker Hughes space. Yes, we have some great news. It, it follows some uh, not so good news. Last fall, uh, Baker Hughes announced that after being in Broken Arrow for over 40 years, that they made a business decision uh, to, to leave Broken Arrow. And obviously, that was devastating for us when you have a, that long time uh, business in our city. But through the efforts of our Economic Development Corporation working uh, closely, uh, we were able to uh, uh, find a company, a very, very uh, reputable company that's already has roots in the Tulsa metropolitan area. McElroy, McElroy Manufacturing uh, has decided to purchase the facility and the uh, surrounding grounds. This will be their fourth location in the Tulsa metropolitan area, and we couldn't be happier to have them. It's a 68-year-old company. Uh, once again, it'll be their fourth campus, and they expect to create 100 new jobs in the next couple of years. And so when you have a, have a building that's vacant, that that size is a great facility to be able to fill it so quickly, uh, we couldn't be happier. And that press conference was a, was a great day for our city last week. Yeah, very visible right there off the BA too. So it'll be good that you know you already have a plan. It'll people will see probably that name go up on the side, and it won't look like a, an empty warehouse. Well, that's exactly right. I mean, you, you hate to have any building in your community empty, and I just applaud our Economic Development Corporation for working so diligently with the Tulsa Chamber and and other economic development to, uh, entities to find the company and then for them to make a business decision to come to Broken Arrow. And once again, it is their fourth location here in the Tulsa metropolitan area, so that shows uh, McElroy's commitment to the Tulsa metropolitan area, so we, we couldn't be happier. I just thought of something. If we can go back to Rooster Days for a second. Uh, sure. I remember a while back, we talked about Broken Arrow Police adding uh, mounted officers. Are they going to be at Rooster Days this year? Uh, That is a very strong possibility. And I mentioned that today, that uh, the training, according to to Chief Brandon Berryhill, we should be finished with the training sometime in late March, early April. And if everything works out, uh, our mounted patrol could make their debut. 
So I always like to under under, under promise over deliver. Uh, so I will say right now that I think it's a strong possibility, and once I know for sure, we'll make that announcement. But I would not I would not um, want to create an expectation. But I can tell you, if it happens, it's gonna it's gonna be an incredible day for our community to roll out the Man of Patrol for Rooster Days. That will be cool. We'll keep an eye on it and check in later. Michael, thanks so much. We'll talk next week. Yes, take care, my friend. Have a great week.